HMS Anson is touted to offer stealth capabilities and naval strike power. These submarines are capable of gathering vital intelligence data, protect other British Royal Navy ships from threats above and below the waves, and destroy enemy military infrastructure with precise accuracy. The submarine was unveiled at Bay Systems Yard in Cumbria in northwest England in front of her crew and family, including naval leaders, Secretary of State for Defence Ben Wallace, Prime Minister Boris Johnson, and Deputy Prime Minister Australian Richard Marlis. HMS Anson took over 11 years to create and around 20 million hours worked by around 10,000 people from 400 companies and organisations across the UK. Now the ship weighing 8,000 tonnes is ready for action. Anson is the fifth of the new Astute-class submarines to join the Royal Navy fleet, joined by HMS Astute, Ambush, Artful, and Audacious. The submarine's first commander, Commander David Crosby, said that given the effort, skill and effort invested in building the submarine, the creation of HMS Anson has been made more challenging over the past two and a half years by the restrictions imposed by the pandemic. HMS Anson will continue to be the best Astute-class submarine. Amidst the intense competition is a bold claim, but I fully believe, he would be successful in surgery for years to come and was the envy of countries around the world. The good fortune to be the commander of the most advanced and capable attack submarine ever built in Britain on the day of its commissioning was greatest honor in a submariner's career. Armed with a combination of up to 38 Spearfish torpedoes and Tomahawk Block V cruise missiles, the Anson can defeat enemy ships, submarines, destroy ground targets up to 1,000 miles away, and launch and recover Royal Marine Strike and Reconnaissance teams, among other capabilities. Given the world we live in, there is no more important tool in the British arsenal. Silent, invisible, and the main instrument of the British Armed Forces. Our global, modern and ready Royal Ocean. HMS Anson is at the forefront of submarine design and construction ensuring operational excellence in the underwater battle space, the last great stealth domain, said the new head of the Royal Navy Submarine Service, Commodore Paul Dunn. The Astute program is one of the most complex engineering projects in the world. Anson will remain at Barrow for a few more weeks undergoing final checks, testing, and adjustments to her systems before sailing to her future home at Hum Naval Base Clyde in Fislane, Scotland. There, Anson will prepare for sea trials. Royal Navy nuclear submarines. Protect critical national infrastructure, secure nuclear deterrent and ready to deliver weapons against those who would harm us, said First Sea Lord, Admiral Sir Ben Key. HMS Anson can reach speeds of over 30 knots, 55 km per hour, and is fully equipped to destroy enemy military infrastructure both on land nor at sea. The ship is 318 feet or 97 meters long and has room for 98 crew members, each of whom has their own berth and room. Having an onboard Rolls-Royce nuclear reactor means the ship does not need to be refueled during its 25-year service life. This submarine can also purify water and air, so its time underwater will only be limited by the amount of food in it, which means it can circumnavigate the globe without reappearing to the surface. It took about 20 million man-hours to build over 11 years to get the 7,800-ton ship ready for action. This ship even claimed more complex than the International Space Station. Anson was named after Admiral George Anson, a Royal Navy officer from the 18th century who made a four-year voyage around the world and led to victory against the French at Cape Finisterre in 1747. The submarine launched from Devonshire Dock Hall in April 2021 and was lowered into the wet dock, where engineers and crew tested equipment and optimized the system. 
In February, Anson conducted a dive in the Barrow which allowed personnel to check her submergence balance, as well as the dive, surface system, ballast tanks, depth sensors, sonar. First Sea Lord, Admiral Sir Ben Key, said, Given the world we live in, there is no more important tool in the British arsenal. Silence, invisible, and a key instrument of our global, modern, ready Royal Navy. HMS Anson is at the forefront of submarine design and construction and ensures operational excellence in the underwater combat space, the last great stealth domain, he added. Royal Navy nuclear submarines, protecting critical national infrastructure, securing nuclear deterrent, and ready to deliver firepower against those who will harm us, he explained. This nuclear technology military device was built to strengthen the British Navy's security mission, the Royal Navy. HMS Anson is an astute class submarine which is supported by a nuclear reactor to produce oxygen and water. This ship belongs to the British Navy the fifth which is planned to be built as many as seven units. The astute class submarines are the largest and most advanced attack submarines ever built for the Royal Navy. Four of these have been completed and are currently patrolling the deep sea and oceans, namely HMS Astute, HMS Ambush, HMS Artful and HMS Audacious. This ship has a length of 97 meters, with a displacement of 7,400 tons, can carry 98 personnel. HMS Anson is claimed to be able to dive for 90 days nonstop. HMS Anson is capable of hitting targets 1,000 kilometers from shore and is equipped with world-leading sensors, carries Tomahawk land attack cruise missiles and Spearfish heavyweight torpedo, quoted from forces. One of the most important aspects pursued during the development and trial period is setting the ship's center of gravity, stability testing, and precise weight measurement. The tests were carried out with more than 60 crew members on board, and tons of ballast. It would take a displacement of 7,400 tons for the ship to go completely underwater. We were not told how long HMS Anson was submerged there, but enough for engineers and crew to establish her watertight integrity tested the sensors, and tested some of our systems before setting sail for the first time, reports Auto Evolution.